Okay, this lesson is on kinetic and potential energy. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion or its stored energy of position. Mechanical energy can be either kinetic, energy of motion, or potential, energy of position. So pretty much what this means is that mechanical energy is energy that an object has. And it can be either kinetic or potential, which we are about to talk about. And you can also define it as it is the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy. So let's talk about what that is. All right, so kinetic energy. This one is energy of motion. This is used when something is moving. So if you look at the yo-yo here, it is moving. So that is kinetic energy. Um, you can try to think of this any way you want to, but the one way that I remember um, kinetic energy is I think of the connect. Y'all know what the connect is? The connect with Xbox? You have to move to get it working. You are the controller. So that's what I think of to remember that kinetic energy is energy of motion. Then you've also got potential energy. You've heard that word potential. You've heard teachers say you have the potential to do well, which you do. You all have potential. Um, you have the potential to go to college. Well, when we're talking about energy, we're talking about stored energy. So that energy, it has the potential to move, but it's not moving yet. It is waiting to be used. So kinetic energy is energy of motion, and potential energy is it's stored. It's still there. Energy never goes away. It can net be created or destroyed, but it is waiting to be used. So if you notice, kinetic energy is moving. Stored energy is not moving. Okay, so let's think of some examples of kinetic and potential energy. So the kinetic energy would be skating down a hill on a skateboard. There is motion occurring. So what before that would be the stored energy? You got it. Waiting at the top of the hill on the skateboard. So you're at the top of the hill. That energy is stored. And when you start skating down, that is when it becomes kinetic energy. Okay, what about throwing a baseball? What is it before it is thrown? You are holding that baseball back in the backswing. That is the potential when you throw it is the kinetic. All right, what about when you're jumping? When you're bending your knees right before you jump. That would be the potential energy. What about a glass falling off of a desk? It's moving there. What is it before? It's just sitting on the desk. Has the potential to fall. Has the potential energy. But once it falls, that is kinetic. All right, what about a yo-yo falling towards the ground? Very good. It is the winding up of the yo-yo, but holding on to it. Haven't let go yet. Okay, let's look at a real-life situation. I'm trying to knock over this giant box in front of me. But when I try to push it, it doesn't seem to work. What should I do? Should I run back? Sounds like a good idea. When I ran backwards, that created more potential energy to push the box. All right, what if I'm going sledding? But I can never seem to make it up that second hill. How can I slid up the second hill? Let's see. Well, that didn't work. But what if I create more potential energy? Lots of energy stored up there. Can I make it? Yay! All right, I'm trying to bump my friend's car across the red line, but I can't seem to get him to cross the line. What can I do to bump him across the line? That didn't work very well. What should I do? I think I should create more potential energy. Change that in kinetic. And there he goes. 